Hi guys, last night for dinner I made these pork chops with mustard and capers. The recipe is from Diana Henry's new book, Simple, and it was so delicious. Not only that, but it was really easy to do and quick as well, but you shouldn't really be doing it too often because it is really high in calorie. To make up for that, I just served it with these steamed baby potatoes and some boiled kale. So start off by placing an oven-proof frying pan over a high heat, and once it's nice and hot, add one tablespoon of olive oil, once the oil is nice and hot, go in with four large seasoned pork chops. These are eight to nine ounces with the bone in. It might be hard to squeeze them all into the one pan. If so, you can use the second one, but do try to fit them all into the one. Now let them fry for two minutes over a high heat until they're browned on the bottom side. Then flip them all over and make sure to nestle them all in so that they're all on the hot surface and cook for another two minutes over a high heat until they're browned. Now you're going to try to brown the fat. I did this by stacking them all up and then turning them fat side down onto the heat for a minute or two. Then transfer the pan to a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, take them out and remove the chops and keep them someplace warm while you make your sauce. Do this by pouring off as much of the fat as you can, but try to keep as much of the juices as possible because that is pure flavour. Now add 275 millilitres of dry vermouth and bring it to the boil so that it'll reduce by half. Make sure to stir it often with a wooden spoon to get up all those burnt on pork bits. They're really flavoursome. Once that's reduced, go in with 250 millilitres of double cream. Stir that in too and let it boil until it's thick enough to coat the back of a wooden spoon. Then add a teaspoon and a half of Dijon mustard. Two tablespoons of capers. Turn off the heat and whisk those in. Then check for seasoning and adjust if needs be. It should taste really, really strong, which will go really well with the pork. Then just serve up the pork chops and spoon over the rich sauce. This really did work so well, I can't recommend it strongly enough. Yes, it's really high in calories, but every so often it's totally worth it. Thanks a million for watching guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button below and the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to let me know how you got on if you try this recipe on social media. You'll find all the links to my social media accounts in the description below, as well as the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.